In this example, I need to find the slope of the line shown in the graph below. Well, here's my line. And there are two different ways of doing this problem. I'm going to show you both of them. And it's up to you to pick the method you like the most. So the first method, I'm going to basically use counting. And I'm going to use the fact that the slope is equal to the rise over the run or the change in the y values divided by the change in the x values. Looking at the graph, I could pick quite a few different points to figure out my change in y over change in x, but I think it's better to use the two points indicated. So if I need to get from this point to this point, I have to go down and then to the right. So let me draw that in. I need to go down to here, and then I have to go to the right. So to figure out my rise, I'm going down. So my rise is definitely a negative number. And how far did I go down? One, two, three, four, five, six. So my rise is negative six. And what's the run? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's negative six divided by nine. Well, that'll reduce. Three divides into nine three times. Three divides into negative six negative two times. So my slope is negative two thirds. So m equals negative two thirds. Now what we can do is we can quickly check that if I start at this point here, if I go down two and to the right three, do I get another point on the graph? Yes, down two, right three, down two, right three. So that looks like it's correct. And that I think is the shortest method to find the slope of a line is just to read off the rise and the run. But there is another method that some students like, and what they do is they find the coordinates of these two given points. So what's the coordinates of this first point here? It is the x value is negative 5, the y value is 2. So it is negative 5, 2. And what is the second point? The x value is 4, and the y value is negative 4. And now I have two points. I can use my slope formula. And I'm going to take the first point, and I'm going to call that x1, y1. My second point here, this is x2, y2. And then using my slope formula, m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, just plugging the numbers in. What's y2? y2 is negative 4 minus what's y1? 2, all divided by x2, which was 4, minus x1 is a negative 5. So negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6 divided by 4 minus a negative 5 is plus 5. So I get negative 6 over 9. Is that what I got up here? Yes, so my slope is negative 2 thirds. So those are two different ways for doing that problem.